Mata. What happened? He just busted ass. What happened? What's going on guys? So today is day two of our trail riding in Ride Royal Blue. Our goal for today is we are going to try to make it to the top of the world, so they call it. It's basically the top of the mountain. This was me, ready to go see the top of the world, had hopes and dreams in my eyes, aspirations to achieve. And yeah, that didn't happen. You see, when you are in the lifestyle of ATV riding, you honestly never know what you're going to come across. There might be this mud hole you can't cross or this hill you can't climb. Either way, it's going to be something. And when you're in a large group like I am today, you honestly have to expect the unexpected. We've made the mistake, so you don't have to. Let's get straight into it. Today, we are going to go over the do's and don'ts at Ride Royal Blue. All right, so our first do for today is bring snacks. You're gonna be out on these trails all day, so at least be prepared and bring some snacks for whenever somebody's hungry, thirsty, you know, you got it. You see, when you're in the middle of that mountain, you're at least like two hours away from the nearest gas station or convenience store. So save yourself the trouble, bring some food, but do not be littering and do not leave food behind because I'm, 100% sure that some bear is going to come by and find it, so you do not want that to happen. What we usually do is on our Polaris 900, we have a cooler, so that's where we throw our drinks and stuff. And also we have some wet bags on the side. That's where we put like our chips. Um, I think we brought some oranges, like some fruit with us. So, you know, just stuff like that, little stuff like that, which also at the same time leads me into my first don't. Stay away from the animals. Come on now. I haven't seen any animals out here, but I know that they're out here. Like we saw, what was it? Bear poop out there? Yeah. So like they're out there. And if you do happen to stumble across them, do not go up there. Do not approach them. I promise you, if you see a mountain lion jumping across trees like it's Tarzan, I promise you, you are gonna the bed like Amber Heard. All right, let's get into our next dome. Water crossing, uh, real water crossing. Well, one problem. That's right guys, rule number two, do not let your bike sink. This is more of a rule for dirt bikes, but definitely be applied to side-by-sides and foliars. You know, most of the times you can't even tell how deep these mud holes are going to be. I mean, you could just, you know, floor it, try to get through it, but sometimes you're not going to win. You know, the, a lot of these mud holes have been rutted out by 4x4s four four and side-by-sides that came before it, so, you know, you never know. And as for the rivers, most of them are really rocky. You know, there's a lot of rocks in there, so if you're on a dirt bike, you know, always uh, watch out for that because one of those rocks will bring you down, so... Yep, and then here we are getting towed out with uh, with the other Polaris. So yeah, you just uh, that's always it's always good to have um, have somebody to tow you out, which will be another rule coming up soon. So for our next do, I'm gonna be talking about tools. You always want to make sure you have tools when you're coming out on trails like this, because you never know what's gonna happen. You might have a you know your bike break down or something or uh, your side by side is full of water you got to drain it out so it's always nice to have tools just like a simple you know like a couple screwdrivers you know a wrench uh, some bolts and stuff like that so just having the essentials that can go a long way when you're out on trails like this see for example right here uh, my brother Max on his 300 DX 
his battery was getting all messed up with all the mud and stuff on there it, it was not um, connecting right so his bike kept shutting off but um, since we had our tools with us we were able to kind of fix that up um, it was I think it was a fuse was full of mud so um, you know we ended up uh, fixing that on like on the go you know so it's always nice to have that and um, and like my last don't don't sink your bike or whatever you know if you do happen to sink your bike you uh, if you have your tools then it you know should be no problem I want to show you guys a situation where we ended up having a problem and we didn't have tools with us uh, Sam's bike right here we were um, driving up trail 27 going back to the campsite at, like, it was probably like maybe 10 o'clock at night and um, we left the side-by-sides behind because they were going really slow it wasn't a smart idea obviously so Sam's bike ended up shutting off because I guess the battery was something was wrong with the battery it was kind of draining really fast and it wasn't able to start up so what we had to do was we got our rope and we had to push it up this fucking long if you've ever been on trail number 27 you will know what kind of f bullshit that is you know so just imagine having to push this folio up here so that that kind of sucked we ended up having to wait for the side by sides to tow us back home but yeah it was a mess so that's why you should always bring tools always bring tools and rule number five don't ever come out here alone and honestly that can be applied to really anywhere because you know like you're gonna get stuck no matter what and it's always nice to have somebody else to come out and help you so for example I'm gonna show you guys a situation that happened to us um, we were coming like kind of sideways on this downward slope and the side-by-sides uh, they just barely fit but uh, one of them our Polaris 1000 ended up getting stuck and actually kind of wedged sideways on the, that trail that downward slope so yeah, if it was out there by itself, it, there was no way it would have gotten out. We had to use a um, a winch from another side by side, and the 1000 was wedged in there so like hard that it ended up breaking the the winch cable off of our um, our 900. So yeah, that was pretty bad. And like in the process of doing that, um, it was rotating the back of the the side by side a little bit and it actually broke one of the bearings on the front uh, left tire so yeah that just goes to show you how you know how important it is to have uh, friends out there with you uh, to help you out when you get stuck you know so yeah I think that is probably one of the most important things because if at least you're not alone out there in the woods stuck or broken down then you know you're good to go and our last do for the video today is be committed you know stay committed if you are attempting to climb some crazy looking hill you know what just uh just fucking send it keep trying and get in it you know and it may not work out all the time you may fail a couple times like right here i was trying to climb this hill on my dirt bike and i crashed as soon as i even tried getting up there so but um you know what right after that i got back up and i kept going so it all depends on the situation you know we didn't have to go up this hill but i just wanted to because it looked badass so i just ended up doing it but um you know it wasn't required not like uh some other hills like um there's this one over here on i think trail eight we had to take this trail because uh this trail took us to trail number 10 i believe which took us to the gas station that we were trying to get to so yeah we had to get up this hill and uh, our side by side right here was kind of struggling a little bit so um you know we uh tried a couple things we put those like logs right there uh see if that would help a little bit but uh, i think on the third try right here I actually ended up getting it just barely sliding on that ski plate just barely getting it but yep at the end of the day we got it and then uh, right here is another hill where my friend JP right here, he's on his KFX 700 and he's struggling to get up this hill right here. It's completely rutted out on one side. It's nearly impossible to do it on that unless you have a 4x4. So, um, you know, we kept trying that one. That one was kind of difficult. I even tried it myself and it didn't really work out for me. So.
Alex, he fell. All right, guys, that is the end of our Tennessee trip. And man, I gotta say, we had an absolute blast up here. You know, it's not every day we get to come up here, so we always like to make the most of it. This was a different style video. You know, our day two was kind of a shit show, so uh, I kind of had to flip the script a little bit. But, um, you know, it was cool. You know, I enjoyed making it. So if you guys like this kind of video, uh, leave a like. And if you didn't like this kind of video, drop a comment down below and let me know how I can improve on future videos. Check out part one of our Tennessee trip if you haven't already. Um, this video, we kind of went more in depth about the trail system and what there is to do out here. So, um, yeah, it's a pretty good video. You should guys should check it out. Yeah, I guess that's it for me, guys. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.